Welcome back to the first video in the final topic, topic 10, which is Boolean logic. And in this video, we're going to be looking at logic gates and truth tables. As you can see, it's split up into four parts. We'll be looking at six of the standard logic gates, the NOT gate, the AND gate, the OR gate, the NAND, the NOR, and the XOR. Okay, so what are logic gates? Well, electronic circuits that are inside computers, solid state drives, and controlling devices are all made up of thousands of logic gates. These determine the flow of the data, the flow of the ones and zeros. Logic gates take binary inputs, zeros and ones, and produce a binary output. We will consider these six logic gates, but we'll start with the not, the or, and the and. Um, several logic gates combined together form what they call a logic circuit, and these circuits are designed to carry out a specific function. As you can see here, we've got several gates um, all attached together, three different inputs a b and c or the electricity is going to pass through this circuit until it gets to the final x here which is the output we need to understand how each gate is functioning to determine the final output what each of these mean okay here we have the not gate which is also known as the inverter gate as you can see we've got one input going into it and then we've got an output going out of it all the not gates for example the not the nor and the nand all have one of these little circles in front of the actual gate and here is an example of a truth table now truth tables are used to trace out um, the output from the logic gate or the logic circuit the not gate is the only logic gate that has one input and um, the other five gates have two inputs the not gate is also known as, as just said as the inverter so for example with this one zero going in if a is set to zero then the not gate will invert it and it will be a one and alternatively if a one goes in if a the input is one then the output would be zero in logic notation it's x is written as um, not a but all but in boolean algebra and we'll come on to these in i think in the, in the second or third video um, x is seen as a but with a line over the top of it which basically means not a it's a little bit like um Venn diagrams in the sense that you've got a line across the top, but in Venn you've got a little line that runs down here. The next gate I want to have a look at is the AND gate. And the AND gate has two inputs, A and B, and need both of them to be on in order for the output to be on as well. Um, it works in a similar way as these um, these switches in series here. Um, we've got the battery in the circuit, and in order to get the, the, the light bulb to work, both switch A and switch B have got to be turned on. Obviously, because there's two inputs, the truth table now becomes bigger, and we've got four different um, combinations that um, could lead to the output. For example, if I put two zeros in here for A and B, then I'll get a zero back out. The same if it's a zero and one, the same if it's a one and a zero. Okay, that would lead to the um, to this being positive. Um, again, Boolean notation, A and B, but this time, a little bit like Italian or European mathematics, a um, punto, a dot, b is seen as being the and. So not a multiplied by b, but a and b is the Boolean logic expression. The next gate is the OR gate. Um, again, the OR gate has two inputs, and I've labeled these a and b. Um, but the OR gate works in a different way. One or both of them, one of, or both a and b, need to be turned on so for example here 0 and 1 to be turned on in order for the output to be turned on um, also with the OR gate if both of them are turned on 1 and A and B are both turned on so as you can see here then the output will be on as well in terms of the electronic circuit it's similar to um, switches in, um, in parallel um, if A is turned on here look the bulb will still light up or if B is turned on the bulb would still light up or if both of them are turned on the bulb would still light up now this is a bit strange as well because of obviously X equals A or B but in Boolean algebra as, an, as written as an expression it's A plus B which is bizarre because you think A plus B would be the AND gate but no A and A plus B is the OR gate okay now the opposite of the OR gate is the NOR gate which, and as I mentioned for the first one, the NOT gate it has one of these little round things on the front of it and that means NOT, so NOT OR basically so NOR is a negation of the OR 
So if x or y are 1 and x and y are 1, then the output will be 0. Ignore the only input to ab1 are when both x and y equal 0. And you can see that here. So 0, 0 equals 1. The rest of them, the rest of the combinations would lead to a 0 output. Obviously, logic notation, um, a nor b. But here we've got, um, same as an OR gate, a plus b, but it's not OR, so it has the line over the top of it like this. Okay, as a Boolean algebra expression. And the same with the um, the NAND gate. It's the negation of the of the AND. It's got one of these round things on the front of it again. Um, the output will always be 1 unless X and Y are 1, when the output will be 0. So here we go. So 0 and 0 leads to a 1. 0 and 1 leads to a 1. 1 and 0 leads to a 1. But both being on, the opposite, the negation of AND, um, would lead to 0. And as before with the NOR gate, it's A and B, but with the line over the top to specify that it is not A and B. Okay. And then finally, we've got one called an XOR gate. And um, it's basically an OR gate with this, um, with this line around the back of it. The final gate, the XOR gate, is what some people assume the OR gate would be, an exclusive OR. But what does that mean? Well, or, well, XOR will produce the output 1 if there is only 1 between X and Y. Um, two zeros or two 1s will um, output a 0. So as you can see here, it's, it is an, it's what they call an exclusive OR gate. So 0 and 1 works, 1 and 0 works, but if we've got them both on, then it would lead to a 0. And again, like the OR gate, two zeros would equal a 0. So logic notation nice and easy a x or b but with in terms of boolean algebra you've got quite a big statement here going on you've got a and not b or not a and b it's sometimes written to make it a little bit easier um, a or b and not a and b <laughs> so a little bit a little bit confusing but um but that is the final gate that we'll be using so here I am, and we've got a circuit here with um, with four different um, four different gates. Well, two are the same. We've got two OR gates, we've got a NOT gate, and we've got an AND gate at the end. And we've got three inputs. So we mentioned before that multiple logic gates can connect to form a logic circuit, as you can see here. Um, the example, we've got three inputs, A, B, and C, meaning there are eight possible combinations, eight combinations of zeros and ones. So A, B, and C could all be turned on, could all be turned off, sorry, or all be turned on, and then anywhere in between. So we've got A in the second one, A is off, B is off, but C is on. And then down here, B and C are on, but A is off. Um, the X, the Y, and the Z just make life a little bit easier. When we're working through these, and you will do um, when you get later on in this chapter, you'll be given a circuit and asked to say what what is the value of Q based on your inputs and you'll have to create a truth table. So what I've done here is I've put an X after the um, after this um, OR gate, I've put a Y after this NOT gate, and then a, um, a Z after this, um, this OR gate here. So what I need to do is look at um, the value for X and the value of Z, so these two here, and that will determine what is going on with the AND gate. So for example, um, X is turned off when it goes through here, because they're all turned off. So X is off there. So a zero is going into the AND gate, so we can see that it's going to be zero despite Z being on. So the only time is when both, with the AND gate, when they're both on. So we're looking down here at the X value being on and the Z value being on, and the same throughout these. And this one here so we've created a circuit which gives us a quite a strange um, looking truth table but that ladies and gentlemen is it that's all i'm going to cover for um, logic gates and truth tables so far it will get rather more complicated but we'll take it easy we'll take it step by step and i'm sure you'll be okay so thank you very much indeed for watching please continue to ask questions leave your comments hit notifications and please subscribe 
And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.